pattern is called a sideways ant. Uh, it is an incredibly simple and easy pattern to tie. It's, um, it's just foam and hackle. Uh, the, uh, the, normally when you see an ant tied, the foam is laying across uh, from the, uh, the, the bend of the hook to the eye of the hook. Uh, but that, that gives it the impression that the, uh, the ant has legs sticking out of its head and out of its butt. And most ants don't have legs sticking out of their butt. Um, this is the same silhouette and profile that you're going to see with the regular ant. But it's just a little bit different by having the hook. The other thing I do is I use a, uh, a black hook, a TMCO. This is a 103, which is barbless. The 102Y is, is, is the barbed version of that same hook. The pattern is, it, it is just like any other regular ant. The, the thing is, you might not want to use it all the time because it spins a little bit more on your tippet. But on heavily fished stretches like the Pequest, which is right down the street from me, that see lots of traffic and lots of different variations of ants, uh, the slightly different profile makes a substantial difference. Um, for a while, I used to track it in the summer when you know, there were less people down there and, and more, uh, more time to fish in there. And it was beating regular ants almost three to one in the fish that, uh, fish that it caught. So that slightly different profile really made a difference. Now, I'm tying this on a size 17 hook, which is uh, right about in the middle of the range. Uh, the, you can get these hooks down to size 21, which is essentially the same as a, uh, a, a size 20 hook, slightly longer, a little bit wider gap. You want to use cheap hackle because the hackle doesn't really float the fly. Uh, the foam floats the fly. What are you using, grade three? Um, yeah, whatever is cheap. This happens to be a grade two neck because I forgot the black hackle at home and had to make do with the, the green that I have here. Uh, but the hackle really doesn't matter that much. Attach it to the middle of the hook. Put the foam. <clears throat> the foam, by the way, you can buy in the fly shop for about $6 a sheet, or you can go to the craft store and buy uh, a nine, 9 inch by 12 inch sheet for 49 cents. Uh, this one came from the craft shop for 49 cents. Are you, are you trying to put me out of business? Uh, yes. Go ahead. I'm sorry. Don't hide Hide the hand? Oh, okay. All right. Well, I got I to gotta hold it this way first. Just wrap it over the hook. Okay. And get the... Yeah, it's a big hand, small hook. Uh, big hand. Well, this one is. And I... And, Again, it's for the camera. Uh, we got to tie it up a little bigger. Um, just put a half hitch to hold this on. Uh, you should use hackle pliers, but I'm just going to hold it onto it. I take my pocket knife out and I lay it on the desk at work because the desk at work isn't mine. And, and I cut it into strips. Uh, it, it's just a, a sharp knife. Lay it down. And. Uh, that's it, you're done. Except for trimming away. Do a little bit of whip finishing. Go ahead, Oz. Oh, look up at the screen. Yeah, it looks, looks kind of messy here. We'll, we'll lay that out. And, um, you know, flies that are neat, uh, you won't see those coming off of my vise. Uh, you will, will, however, catch these. These will catch fish. And I'm going to trim the, the hackle off. And you want the, the body of the ant be in total about the length of the hook. So that's about it. There you go.